Okay, here we are in Marchena, just outside of Marchena. This is a great property, very, very well priced. Outside here, <coughs> we've got a great outbuilding, which has, uh, uh, as you'll see in a sec, shower, toilet, sink, washing area, good amount of space, good potential. A little bit of a storage room back there, chest freezer. Now all this here is concrete obviously, but underneath it is soil, so a lot of scope there if you wanted to, to garden around the house or maybe put in something a little bit more attractive than the cement. Get a bit of an aviary or chicken coop here, a little dog house as well. And then here you've got three stables, good stable block. These are quite generous stables as well. Typically the Spanish stables are, are quite small. These ones are set up kind of nicely. And there's stable number two. And stable number three. or hay store, as they're using it for. And then behind the villa, again, you've got a long little bit of concrete here, but very easy uh, enough just to chew it all up. Little parking area, back to the outbuilding there. Decent size house, three good bedrooms in size. Inside, the, the master's a, a really good size. And I guess about one of the only things I'm not so crazy about little yappy barking dogs but also you know you've got a fairly near neighbor here but as you can see the wall's been built here and that could very easily be extended all the way down got a good grass area around the swimming pool water reserve is your pump for your pressure into the house. That's the well there underneath all that. You got your pump filter pool room there. And then you've got this great piece of ground here, <coughs> excuse me, which, um, you know, when they did uh, keep horses here, this is their corral, little jumps and so forth, fully fenced. And then you've got a nice wall. Uh, to the front of it and this roadway here just on the other side of that fence basically comes to a dead end uh, so very very little uh, traffic uh, will be coming by the property so you know this here I think has you know tremendous scope to properly garden a lot of potential there a nice hedge here protecting the swimming pool give you a view back to the stables down there. A good high hedge, give you a little privacy from the prying eyes at the gate, watching in your swimming pool. And then again, it just comes back here to the front gates of the property. Big old eucalyptus trees here to the front as well giving you some excellent shade. And then looking back, nice long driveway up to the villa. <coughs> Beautiful palm tree here. Looks like an orange tree. Let's see. Could be lemon, could be lemon. Difficult to tell at this stage. As the oranges and lemons start to appear on the tree, you know what they are, but up until that point, it could go either way. And then, you know, just some good cactus. Cacti. But, you know, essentially without the barking dogs that we've heard, you know, it's a very, very private property. Uh, once you are behind the gate, 
you know, you've got a lot of scope here. Good little parking area done off in, uh, in tiles. Some good date palm here to the front as well. And then the pool. Not huge, not small, just a good size. Easy to maintain. And again, you got grass area all around, as well as the shower. And you've also got a great covered patio area here as well. Typical arch, arched. Let's take a look inside where it's nicely air conditioned. Oh, it's about 40 degrees out today, boys and girls, and just absolutely roasting. Right, the lounge, decent size. Ooh. Thank God for air conditioning. Now, the interesting thing is there is no fireplace there, but it is pre-installed, meaning the chimney is there and so forth, which, you know, really is a good thing because it gives you the opportunity to choose uh, a fireplace of your liking. A lot of other improvements have been done to the property, uh, like the aluminum windows. You got a good little dining area here. Nice size kitchen with a pantry there at the end of it. In the hall leading down to the three bedrooms. This is bedroom number one. Good double. Fitted wardrobes. With storage up above as well. Always handy. Nice size family bath, shower room, a little light on the subject, there we go. Very attractively tiled, as you can see. Good size, but you know, here's the master. And as you can see, there's two queen-size beds side by side, plus this little single. So potentially here, if you wanted to, in this sort of back corner, I would think, and still leaving plenty enough space, you could definitely put a wet room in there, making this en suite. And again, built-in wardrobes as well. Very deep, good amount of space, and it actually comes to about there. So it's not just what you see. And then we got sort of the smaller of the three bedrooms. No fitted wardrobe here, but you've got two single beds with a large wardrobe. So even though it's a, a single, a smaller bedroom, it's still a decent size. Back down the hall toward the lounge. <clears throat> Excuse me, good potential. You know, there are some things that need to be done. Electrics and so forth are all up to date, so that's fine and all the lights and switches are inside for the property. Let me see if I can't give you a uh, bit of a view out here. Let that enormous wasp go by. And then again, you've got the pool. Okay, good, so that's it for now. That ends our tour. Marchena, three bed, one bath, bath outside as well in the storage area, 
2,500 square meters of grounds, three stables, nice swimming pool, grass area, very private location, and value priced at just 150,000 euros. What a deal! I'd argue with you if I could. Okay, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. Lots of videos uploaded all the time. Thanks. Take care now.